Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here, Just Podiatry. <clears throat> a lot of people in this world suffer from painful calluses on the bottom of their feet. Um, we have a young patient who has presented to our office with extremely painful corns to the bottom of the left foot. These come right behind me. These are right there. So these are these are called IPKs, intractable porokeratoses, also known as calluses, also known as corns. We do know that they're extremely painful. Now, what's crazy is that the patient has been battling these corns, calluses, for the last twenty years. Think about that for a second. I'm forty-two. It's a long time. So what we are going to do today is enucleate them, right? That'll provide the pain relief. And we spoke for a long time about minimally invasive surgery and how we can use these techniques to eradicate this problem. Okay, so carefully. We're gonna go ahead and enucleate. The lesions. And these, I mean, think about that for 20 years. These are deep. She had been, she had been seen another clinician and they were trying to use the canthrone, the beetle juice, right, to eradicate these lesions. But the problem is, and, and I'm not saying it, it, it's wrong, sometimes you can actually use for smaller lesions, you can use the canthrone um, as an alternative treatment. But these, but these are, are, are number one, there's an underlying structural deformity, which is which is the the metatarsal head, which is going nowhere. So no matter what you do, in this particular case, these lesions are not going anywhere. So they tried the application of the beetle juice multiple times. And I guess they were sort of spinning their wheels, right? And I like to sometimes leave this little lip here on, on the front to take off the weight from here, right? Like a little cave, like a little abyss. Mm -hmm. But that must definitely, let's take a look at this one. To a lesser extent. Patient works st standing up. These little lesions will make a grown man cry. I'm not kidding. And everyone can really see the, the extent of how much callus buildup there is. And again, it doesn't matter how much of the core I remove, it's gonna come back. Yep. How quickly does it come back? If, After like two and a half weeks, two 
that's it, right? Yeah. Two weeks, it's right back there. Like, in, like whoa, whoa, everything that we're doing now doesn't really matter. At all. Right? It's temporary. It's just, te it's like a, it's, it is a Band-Aid. Yeah. So, you know, it's not that we're trying to fix the problem right now. We're not going to do that. We yeah. won't be able to. The pro the 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 long term solution is exactly what I'm going to show you guys now on the whitey board. And again, we don't want to. You see, gone. This one has a little bit of pigmentation, probably maybe a little subdermal hemorrhage, maybe it bled a little bit, maybe. From the from the chronic trauma from hitting it over and over and over, it'll sometimes bleed a little bit. You won't even, you know patients won't even notice it. Okay. Let's just get this little. Okay. Okay. This is the problem. Let's look here. So right now, the second and third metatarsals are like this. And I'm exaggerating, right? So this is the skin, we have the corn, and we have the bone. So what we wanna do is basically bring this metatarsal head like that. Once we do that, essentially move a little bit like this and now we have this space right here that will help accommodate and then this the callus goes away so in addition to doing this the the bone will actually the metatarsal head will shorten a little bit let me show you guys. So right now, this is the first metatarsal, second, third. Number two and number three are way longer than the first. So when the patient is walking, the first two metatarsals to hit the ground are number two and three. That's the problem. So in respect to the parabola, right, what we want to do is bring this one down, right? We want to shorten it. We want to shorten this one a little bit for it to look like this. Ah, look at this one. So, again, this is the parabola, the rainbow. Right now, it's not like that. Right now, it's sort of like this. We want this to look like this. And we can make it happen using... Minimally Invasive Surgery, MIS. This is extremely common, not only for corns and calluses, for uh, patients with a significant amount of fat pad atrophy, the condition that we've spoken about before, metatarsalgia. It's a type of bursitis of burning pain on the bottom of the foot. A lot of people experience uh, this, uh, you know, generically speaking, pain on the bottom of the foot. There are solutions. I will definitely, this is this is a great case just because I think a lot of people will definitely uh, be able to relate to it. As always, www.jawspedietry.com, Instagram, Dr. Toejam, Jaws Pedietry, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. Stay safe, everyone.